Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Let's start off with a definition of paranoia. I'm taking this from the fourth edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or DSM 4 for short. It's published by the American Psychiatric Association. Here we go. Paranoia is a thought process believed to be heavily influenced by anxiety or fear to the point of delusion and irrationality. The manual goes on to say that making false accusations and the general distrust of others frequently accompanies paranoia. Now note those words, anxiety and fear. You'll be hearing synonyms for them in a few moments. It all started August 26th when fraternity and sorority leaders from the University of Mississippi, affectionately called Ole Miss, were meeting at a retreat intended to improve relations among them and with the campus. The exact opposite happened because of an apparently random incident. It turns out an accounting major, Ryan Swanson, was strolling along eating a banana. He couldn't find a trash can and ended up putting the peel in a tree. Okay, I admit that's a little odd, but perfectly harmless, or so you would think. But three students, who happened to be black, found it in front of a cabin at the camp where the retreat was being held. As the Daily Mississippian reports, I'm quoting here, the students shared what they found with National Pan-Hellenic Council leaders, sparking a day's worth of camp-wide conversation surrounding symbolism, intended or not. According to the Interim Director of Fraternity and Sorority Life, Alexa Lee Arndt, and this is a quote from a letter the newspaper acquired, to be clear, many members of our community were hurt, frightened, and upset by what occurred. Because of the underlying reality many students of color endure on a daily basis, the conversation manifested into a larger conversation about race relations today at the University of Mississippi. And that was Ms. Arndt's assessment. The president of a historically black sorority, Michaela McNeil, told the Mississippian that one student explained, and I'm quoting here again, how bananas have historically been used to demean black people. Really? He asked everyone to Google an incident at American University last May. That's when students protested the school's first female black student government president there, with bananas hanging from nooses. I'd be upset about that, too, if I was at American University, because I hate racism. But the fact that the incident has to be Googled means it is not part of general public knowledge. I'm a news hound, and I haven't heard of it before. Now, back to the controversy at Ole Miss. Ryan Swanson, the banana peel man, came forward right away and took responsibility. He's quoted in the Mississippi and is saying, I want to sincerely apologize for the events that took place this past weekend. Although unintentional, there is no excuse for the pain that was caused to members of our community. I have much to learn. We must all keep in mind how our actions affect those around us differently. Swanson tried to defuse the situation, but an important point is being overlooked. There is a difference between giving offense and taking offense. Mass paranoia seems to be part of our nation's daily life. We should not be normalizing this psychological disorder. Let's not reinforce it as reasonable. I wish we recognized this malady as a challenge that can and should be overcome. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.